With tensions continuing to simmer between Mizoram and Assam over the unprecedented 26 July clash between the police of the two states, India today's Ashutosh Mishra is right there on ground zero and the first time on national television he has spoken exclusively to Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga to know what led to the clash. Zoram Thanga blamed Assam for the flare-up and accused the neighboring state police of using light machine gun at Mizoram police personnel. He also said that Assam police captured the camp of Mizoram police and when Mizoram police went to negotiate, locals came down with sticks along with the Assam police resorting to lati charge and fire tear gas. The chief minister said on 24th of July during the meeting with the home minister, both the states agreed to resolve the issue but just two days later, on 26th of July, Assam started the flare-up. Meanwhile, Mizoram police has booked the Assam chief minister, Himanta Biswa Sarma, on charges of an attempt to murder and criminal conspiracy. An FIR is also filed against four senior Assam police officials, two bureaucrats and 200 unidentified Assam police personnel. Assam too has summoned six officers of Mizoram police to join the probe on 2nd of August. Assam government has also issued directions to check all vehicles entering into the state from Mizoram and also issued travel advisory for Mizoram. Ashutosh Mishra is now joining us live from Aizawal in Mizoram. Uh, this is the first time ever on national television we're hearing the side from Mizoram. So far, what you have heard is a Sam side. For the first time ever, you'll be hearing the side from Mizoram as well. And Ashutosh is right there in conversation live with the Chief Secretary. Take it away, Ashutosh. Well, Shaiti, good morning to all our viewers. Bringing the reality, facts and all sides of this story is the golden standards of journalism and that's what India today stands for. We have so far heard the Assam side. I have been covering all the ground reports from the conflict area the, where the interstate clash took place. This will be first time when the Chief Secretary of Mizoram is live here on this broadcast. Everything will be official, nothing quoting sources. All documentation will hear what the Mizoram has to say. But in the meanwhile, I have the access of the satellite images that was taken on uh, later were explaining on 26 July where the clash took place. The first question goes to the Chief Secretary of Mizoram. What led that deadly clash on 26 July before we come to the images? And in the meanwhile, if you could beam the images, video that have been released by Mizoram government, where it says that Assam police was also carrying light machine gun. Over to you, sir. What led to that, uh, you know, the deadly clash on 26 July? Perhaps first time in the history, you know, leading to a firing between two cops. Yeah. It's uh, really unfortunate, I think, uh, to understand the, how this happened. I think I would like to show uh, the audience okay. the camera what will actually happened that day. Hmm. Now, last year also there was a fight, some conflagration between the people of uh, Assam and Mizoram. That happened around this place. So with the intervention of the Ministry of Home Affairs, we positioned CAPF as neutral force okay. to control, to uh, check similar type of things happening. So this is the National Highway 306 coming from Silchar to Aizol. This is the place where Assam positioned one platoon of CRPF. This is the place where Mizoram positioned one platoon of CRPF to maintain a sanitized zone. So are you, are you uh, maintaining or are you claiming that territory of Mizoram was not here where the clash took place, but it was still here, till point two A? Yeah, here, this is a disputed area. Hmm. Mizoram claimed, actually claim of Mizoram is much deeper. Assam's claim is also somewhere towards Mizoram. Now, what happened that day, around 200 strong armed police equipped with all uh, equipment, arms and ammunition and uh, uh, vehicles, passed through this. There is a, some police uh, post here. This is their CRP position. This is our CRP position. They went past this, and there is a small uh, duty post here of Mizoram police 
which is manned by that day around 10 people. So suddenly they come, along with uh, commanded by the IZP of Assam Police, and then they overpowered the 10 uh, odd uh, Mizoram Police. But uh, their allegation is that you <coughs> used light machine gun on the Assam Police and that led to the killing of six policemen, sir. Why used light machine gun? Why use LMG against another police, sir? Yeah, that's very unfortunate. In fact, it is not the Mizoram Police that use it first. Hmm. See, when they Where was captured, Mizoram Police? Where, where was Mizoram Police when, deployed no, with I, LMG? I sir? just mentioned, hmm. when Assam Police captured this Mizoram Dinti post, and occupied it. They also positioned their LMZ here. This is the position. Okay. If you see the screenshot of Assam Police man, mm -hmm. this is the IZP of Assam Police who led that uh, large armed police force, and this is the SP of Kolosip District of Mizoram who went there to discuss and then try to convince them to go back, to hand over that uh, police post back and return. But that did not happen. It is this uh, Assam police is positioning this LMG. Are you saying the Assam police was with the LMG? Yes, yes. There is ample proof of this as well as there are video shots, video films, which clearly indicate that, that I mean, showed that Assam police come armed with LMGs and all types of arms. This is the Assam police uh, man pointing the LMZ towards Mizoram police. So if you could use the satellite images, could you explain where was the Mizoram police deployed with LMG and did they fire through the LMG? Yeah, when uh, the report of this uh, some police capturing the Mizoram police duty post uh, was heard, the SP went down immediately uh, from uh, the scholarship. Hmm. He had a discussion with the IZP of uh, that Assam police as we can see. Meanwhile, some reinforcement of Mizoram police also come and they position themselves in the hill uh, slopes in the, amongst the trees okay. here, this and this place. This is the place where Assam positioned themselves. This is the area which they captured. With LMG? Uh, with LMG. They have a number of LMGs. There are uh, video uh, to show that also. This is the place where the IZP and the SP of Mizoram were standing when the firing started. In fact, we suspected that the first burst of LMZ fire that come from Assam site was from this position, from this are very position. Are you claiming that first fire came from Assam? Yes, yes. There are video evidence that they are the ones who fired first. Then that IZP of Assam rushed down towards Assam site the SP also tried to find shelter in this CRP deployed by us. They so refused. besides this brawl, Zal, I'll come to the now larger perspective. Besides yeah. this brawl that took place on 26, uh, the Assam says it is the Mizoram, uh, the local tribals, Mizor tribes and the IRB. They kept coming in the territory of Assam even in the past and they have been capturing their land. What is that, your claim? Because there was a meeting with the MHA. Did you put any evidence, any document to suggest your claims? Yeah, this, this is actually uh, the version which is totally untrue. In fact, some police and officials have been coming into Mizoram. Mm. These are the areas, this is the uh, field of the first chief minister of Mizoram at Zopai in uh, Mizoram in the border areas. This is the rice field of the first chief minister of Mizoram. This is what Assam constructed the road, which was objected to by... And let me tell you, Chaiti, and to all our viewers, these are the exclusive documents that were provided to the center during the meeting by the chief secretary himself to the Ministry of Home Affairs, the higher officials, making their claims that what, how the Assam made constructions in their territory. Go ahead, sir. In fact, uh, these are, if you look at this, these are the farm huts of Mizo farmers which were bound down by Assam police. This happened on 9th of uh, February 2021. This year? Yeah, at uh, uh, Bairabi area, at Zophai, that area, when they are constructing that road. This is another area in Chuvel, in Mamit district of Mizoram, 
where Assam police come and intimidated the farmer, telling him that he has to leave that place, otherwise they will again burn down this. In fact, last year, adjacent to this place, Assam police, about uh, 100 odd Assam police, suddenly come along with forest and district officials led by the uh, DC of uh, Haila Kandi, burn down the Jum hut and slash the plantation. That was last year. That was the beginning of this tension that happened. And as a result of that, in fact, there have been conflagration in this part also. Okay. In fact, it was a some site which come here. Hmm. There was a problem last year also. Did you provide all these documents yes, to the yes. MHA yeah. during the meeting? Uh, this, uh, not during the meeting, but subsequently I sent it to the mm, um, additional secretary in charge of notice in the Ministry of Home Affairs. See, these are the constructions that were done by a some uh, site okay. in what they call the inner line reserve forest. This is so this is the, the claims being made by uh, the Assam Chief Secretary, the, uh, Mizoram Chief Secretary, that how Assam constantly have been building up using excavators, heavy machine, earth moving machines in the territory of Mizoram. And particularly in these documents, they have even mentioned the day this is 7th of July, photographs of showing road construction by Assam July. government yeah. within the 10th of July uh, in the inner line reserve forest. And this is uh, Mami district. So clearly multiple those yes. districts, one after one, these documents have been provided to the center. But the biggest question now I'll come to, sir, now you're saying that there is a blockade from the Assam. Mm. Have you raised this issue with the center and how this deadlock will end between two states? Because this cannot you know, keep happening in, in the northeastern states, sir. Yes, we have uh, raised this issue with the Ministry of Home Affairs. We have made a request to the government of Assam also uh, to uh, lift uh, the blockade. However, I think Assam government uh, take the plea that it is not done by them. Uh, but by uh, the people. But it is all done by government of Assam. That you have filed even a FIR against the chief minister yeah. on that particular day. Well, well that, is, that is unfortunate. In fact, the chief minister of Mizoram did not approve of the, uh, really uh, approve of uh, this uh, mentioning the name of the chief. Will you, the chief will you withdraw the case against the chief minister? Well, well uh, he advised me that because I was also not uh, that uh, aware before this was filed, he suggested that we should have a relook at uh, that uh, mentioning the name of the Honorable Chief Minister so of So that's the big the story FIR. again on India Today. So you heard the I Chief will have a discussion that, with yeah. the concerned uh, police officers who are filing that uh, FIR, mm -hmm. and if there is uh, no legal hitch in that, we would like to remove the name of the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam. And are you hopeful the deadlock will end gradually with the discussion and dialogues? Will you in, uh, are you in touch with your counterpart in Assam? Yeah, right now I think they are in communicado. In fact, on the date in of that... In communicado, are you saying? Yeah. On the date of that uh, conflagration also, I tried to call him several times before the actual firing take place. But somehow I was not able to get through. He did not uh, respond. So I sent a uh, cross message, wireless uh, telegraphic message, suggesting that they should withdraw quickly so that uh, the tension, uh, uh, we can prevent the tension from further escalating. But unfortunately, that uh, firing started. Are you sending communication to MHA over the uh, blockade? And is it hampering your supplies largely? The yes, yes, definitely. See, Assam, this particular National Highway uh, 306, is our lifeline. In fact, practically maybe 90%, 95% of all our supplies come through this. So when it is blocked, then Mizoram is in dire uh, strait. Assam knows it well. That's why this has been used as their trump card. Are you in SOS this condition? Is, this is not the first time that they have resorted to this. It was done last year also, and they are doing this uh, this year also, this time again. Have you sent so, the communication to MHA? Yes, yes, we have. We have. Any reply from I, I, No, we have not got a direct reply, but we understand that they have been talking to government of Assam, and possibly I'm confident that the Ministry of Home Affairs will be able to convince the government of Assam to leave the blockade. Thank you so much, yeah. Mr. Chief Secretary. You heard all perspective, images, videos,
everything that Mizoram has to make its claim on what had happened and how this deadlock going to resolve. This is yeah. the first time a broadcast from Mizoram, live and exclusive, only on India Today. Back to you, Shaiti. Live and exclusive, only on India Today. That is Ashutosh Mishra for the first time on national television, bringing you the Mizoram side. And this is the official side. This is no source-based news that he's getting. It is the official version coming in from Mizoram with Ashutosh Mishra. Thanks, Ashutosh, for all those updates. We'll play that interview out once again for all our viewers who have missed out on that exclusive interview with the Chief Secretary of Mizoram. Ashutosh Mishra with our top story. Tensions between Assam and Mizoram have escalated over the 26 July border clash. In a big move, Mizoram police has filed an FIR against the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma on charges of attempt murder and criminal conspiracy. Assam police too summoned six Mizoram police officers on 2nd August to join the probe. Here's a look. Bullets fired. Stones hurled. Tear gas locked. Cars and buses damaged. Violent clashes between Assam and Mizoram police, a first of its kind incident in independent India. The unprecedented deadly face-off took place on July the 26th and not a day has passed with both governments blaming each other. Now raising the stakes even higher, Mizoram police has filed an FIR against Chief Minister of Assam Himanta Biswa Sarma. Charges of attempt to murder and criminal conspiracy slapped. Reacting to the FIR, Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma said that he is happy to join any investigation but asks why the case is not being handed over to a neutral agency. Along with Chief Minister, four senior Assam Police officials, two bureaucrats and 200 unidentified Assam Police personnel have been named in the FIR. This is bad in test. Uh, this does not give a good impression. This does not put things in a... Uh, good perspective also so let good sense prevail on them and let them understand and realize that they have committed a mistake once they realize that they have committed a mistake then i think that uh, there will be a situation where we can start discussion the assam government also is in no mood to relent six deputy commissioners and sp rank officials of mizoram police summoned on the charges of distributing guns and ammunition to locals हमारी जो इनफॉरमेशन है उनके सिविलियंस के हाथों में भी एक्सप्लोजिव्स है गन्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो चुके हैं एमिनेशन बहुत वो सिविलियंस में बांट दिए हैं उनके काफी सिविलियंस एक्स मिलिटेंट्स भी हैं तो शायद उनको ट्रेनिंग भी रेडी मिल चुका है बहुत उनके तरफ से आगे अग्रेसिवली मूवमेंट बढ़ रहा है जिसके वजह से वी हैव टू स्टॉप देम एट सम पॉइंट Claims versus counterclaims continue between Assam and Mizoram. Speaking exclusively to India today's Rajdeep Sardesai, Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga accused Assam for July 26 flare-up. When the two armed forces were firing at each other with machine guns, who will dare to be there? They are not the civilians. Civilians are certainly there. But it is the 200 Assam armed police and Mizoram armed police with their machine guns were firing at each other. And the reason is that because a sham policemen cross over, try to capture the game, and firing started. Anger is palpable on both sides. A BJP MLA from Assam's Kachar district made a provocative statement. The chief ministers of both the states have agreed to hold a physical meeting to resolve the issue. With Ashutosh Mishra in Assam Bureau Report, India Today.